and there's a restoration. Touch that person next to you. Tell them God has a restoration plan for your broken soul. Now, now, now watch this. Watch this. Let's see. Um, the world constantly uses, um, watch this, abuse, abandonment, and humiliation to break the soul of the woman. Abuse to destroy your sense of worth. When I, when I abuse you, it the, the emotional intent is to destroy your sense of value. Sexual abuse, emotional abuse, whatever kind of abuse, it is intended to destroy your sense of worth and value. We reconnect that broken soul. Okay, well, let me, let me finish this. Abuse to destroy your sense of worth, abandonment to strip your trust and security. See, that's why the devil has fathers to walk out of your lives. Because your father, for a daughter, what does he do? He creates the sense of security, stability. And so when the enemy disrupts the family structure and the, and, and the man is too immature to actually, he can make a baby, but he's too immature to actually be a father, the little girl, and of course the young boys are impacted too, but the little girl especially feels uncovered, unprotected. There's an insecurity. And so she grows up, she grows up what? Having to fend for herself. She grows up with the, with the core belief, I'm all I got, I'm all I can depend on. So she meets a great guy that can be a husband and can cover like a man should, but she doesn't even know how to receive him now because she's been broken through what? Abandonment. She's not going to let that happen again. But under number one, self-awareness, it says my identity is in my relationship with God and my understanding of myself. I'm not defined by what I do, what I have, or who I, or who I am. I am a single, distinct individual. So even if you're in here married tonight, you are a single, distinct individual. We'll talk about it a little more tomorrow. Number two, self-mastery, which speaks to your disciplines. I am in control of myself. No one has, no one has access to my buttons. I am mastering my emotions, relationships, sexuality, spirituality, and financial choices. These are the tenets of Queenology. Number three, self-sufficiency, which speaks to your what? Independence. I am capable and I am motivated to trust God and to be the source for my life and its necessities. I will not beg or plead with inferiors to do for me what I can do for myself. I am Self-sufficient. Self-projection, which speaks to your confidence. I will never be invisible in any space because I have presence. I make a statement without ever saying a word. I will assert myself whenever necessary and will leave my mark. And then number five is self-actualization, 
which is the manifestation of you. I will not bring the value and gifts that God has given me to the grave. Every vision, dream, and or ambition will be manifested. I am becoming more. So that's what we're going we're gonna to spend hours working our way through the five tenets of Queenology tomorrow. So we gave y'all that big old pad with all that paper in it for a reason. <laughs> and it just look cute. So, oh, they used to teach something called shorthand. I don't know if they teach that anymore. <laughs> You're going to need some shorthand tomorrow, praise the Lord. So I love you all. Thank you for being here. You'll have even more sisters with you tomorrow, uh, but I'm just in awe of your presence tonight. I'm also thankful that we have international presence. I'm also thankful that um, this message has transcended race. Watch this. When I initially wrote this book, The Father-Daughter Talk, which is the beginnings of this, I thought I was writing this book to a young black female between the ages of 18, maybe to 30. To my amazement, the book transcends age, it transcends race, it transcends religious dogma. There are Muslim women in the Middle East who, who read and who are following what we're teaching. And so I'm just sitting here tonight and I'm amazed because this is nobody but God. And, and on that note, I want to say thank you to my wife. Thank you to my wife. If, if my wife would not allow me to do this, I couldn't do it. And watch this. I can't, I, I'm not an organizer. My wife does all of this stuff. She, she gets all my books printed. She, she, she does it all. All I do is show up and talk. And so I'm really thankful for you. You are, you are such a blessing to me. Uh, she may be a little apprehensive about getting the mic, but the greater work happens behind the scene. And I want to thank God for her tonight. And I love all of y'all.